In this video, we'll be working with a pair of two chained molecules downloaded from the RCSB Protein Data Bank. Both are triose phosphate isomerase molecules, so the proteins will obviously have similar functions. 3TA6 is the bacterial form, and 7TIM is the yeast form. The goal of this workflow is to determine which chains represent the most conserved region between 3TA6 and 7TIM. To begin, we need to add our two structure files to this empty Protean 3D document. To do this, we'll use the File Open Group command. I'm going to leave this radio button at Center on Screen to align similar structures. Next, I'll click the Add button, and I'll choose the two files of interest, and click Open, and OK. Note that the structures now appear in the Structure and Sequence views, and information for the two structures is grouped according to Structure Name in the Molecules panel. I've now colored the chains of 3TA6 to yellow and orange, while the chains of 7TIM appear in green and blue. The next step is to select one chain from each molecule. We'll start by selecting chain A from both molecules by clicking on the first one, and then control or command clicking on the second one. Then we'll use the command structure, align structures, rigid body alignment for selected regions. Protean 3D performs the alignment so as to minimize the distance between the atoms and the selected chains. Next we'll deselect all by double clicking on the black background. Now we can open the details panel. In the Details panel, we're going to look for the root mean square deviation between the two chains. The RMSD value for these two chain A's is 1.702. Next, we can select a different combination of chains and use the Structure, Align Structures, Rigid Body Alignment for Selected Regions command again. After testing all of the chain combinations, here are the results. The lower the RMSD value, the more conserved the region is. So we can see from this table that chain B of 3TA6 is most similar to chain A of 7TIM.